complete fear. I was very scared, but I realized what was happening. And he was just like, shh, doing that, like, no, you know, shh. But don't let Shannon Turner's size so, fool you. We fought. He just kept trying to push me in the house. And I, you know, grab my face and like push me back. Just start, you know, grab my shoulder, push my face back, choking me, punched me. And I was just like, get out of here. Wednesday around 3.30 in the middle of the day, like any other day, Turner was taking groceries out of her car and into her house. She was trying to hurry up so she could pick up her child from school. So I came out of my kitchen to get the rest of my groceries and got about right here and he was coming up the path fast and came into my house. A Turner says she was attacked by this man who was much bigger than she is. It happened in broad daylight. She lives in the Candler Park community near Glendale and DeKalb Avenue. And I was just like, I've got to get him out of this. He's got to get out of here. He is not going to get me in this house and shut the door. That's all I could think. And I got so, I don't know, I just fought him. A Turner was quite clear of her attacker's intentions. I think he wanted to rape me. I mean, I had, um, you know, a Mac computer and a, um, a phone, a purse. He can take those things. I also had a bag in my car with, you know, the hatchback up. He, that he walked right by and couldn't have missed it. He didn't want that stuff. He wanted a woman, you know, to, he could take. As she's sharing her story, this video from a neighbor's surveillance camera and a picture of her attacker in hopes of saving another possible victim. I want somebody to find that guy and get him out of our neighborhood. He's gonna do it again. The guy was very confident.